Hi, it's Mr. Vanskoy, continuing our introduction to evolution. I'm going to take a brief look at some of the misconceptions about evolution in this lesson here. So let's get started. Um, so students, when you're done, you should be able to correct some of these common misconceptions about evolution. All right, so some of those um, misconceptions that I'll try to address in this lesson. Um, one is that um, evolution somehow tries to explain how life started without a god. Uh, we'll take a look at that one. Um, another one that comes up a lot, a um, little typo there, but um, it says uh, species have transmutated from simpler Animals, i.e., we come from apes. We'll take a look at how that one is false. And the final one that we'll, um, oops, final one that we will briefly take a look at is, well, it's just a theory. So we'll take a look at why that doesn't really hold up either. Okay. Um, so some people think that the theory of evolution explains how life began on Earth. Um, really, the, the fact there is that theory explains only how life has changed after it first appeared. Scientists are still looking at and trying to uncover how life might have started. They've been trying to solve that one for a long time. Um, but in no way does evolution... Um, you know, our, our definition of evolution today, in no way does it um, say how life has changed, or I'm sorry, how life has started, just simply how life has changed. And uh, for those that are of, um, you know, a certain religious background, I, sh I think I would be remiss in not pointing out that many of the, um, not all, but many of the big church leaders have actually come out in support of evolution. Um, for example, Many of our popes um, um, have come out in kind of in defense. So um, some people think that the that religion and science can't get along on that topic, but there actually is a lot of agreement there. Um, the other one is this idea of kind of what's called transmutation, right? And in one of my other lessons, I showed the Homer sapien or kind of the more famous one of showing showing how, you know, these simple amoeba, simple creatures evolved into apes, which evolved into humans. Um, I've got a different um, graphic here for this one. We have common ancestry. That's not the same thing as saying that we evolved from. So, for example, this is not your family tree, your great-grandfather, your grandfather, your father, and you. This is a better family tree showing your great-grandparents and then your second cousins, your cousins, your who had a common ancestor of having the same grandparents as you. Um, and then you have your parents who then gave offspring to your siblings, if you have them, and you. Okay, so you share common ancestors. You are not... Um, evolved from, uh, you are not an evolution of your father, grandfather, etc. You are a descendant of them. And so, here's the evolution take on that. This is not evolution, going from fish, the salamander, to cat, to you. This is a better representation of evolution, showing a common ancestor for all backboned animals, all vertebrates, which includes fish. And then a common ancestor for four-legged vertebrates, which includes amphibians and also includes mammals and you. So common ancestor of all mammals. Okay, you did not evolve from a cat or a bear. You did not evolve from a chimpanzee. We had common ancestry. Um, the last one, which I'll just touch on briefly, um, I've actually got a whole lesson on the word scientific theory, um, using my meme from, well, actually, a little bonus extra credit if you can tell me where I got this um, meme from. 
But um, a lot of times people use the word theory, kind of the, the common understanding of the word theory is somebody's hunch, their guess, their, 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 their sometimes even wild and crazy idea. And science, we talk about a theory, it's well tested, has multiple lines of evidence, has been shown to be true over and over and over and over again. So saying that evolution is just a theory um, really shows a misunderstanding of, of what the word theory means in science. Uh, there is there disagreement among scientists. There are disagreement about specifics on specific mechanisms or specific timelines, but the concept of evolution um, is supported, is to my knowledge, by all um, biologists and and evolutionary um, people that say evolutionary development um, and kind of the history of life. There is a huge consensus um, in the scientific community about evolution. Again, they're just, the disagreements they, they do have are about specific timelines or maybe a specific mechanism, exactly how that happens. All right, so now hopefully you can correct some of these common misconceptions about evolution, about, you know, it doesn't talk about where life started, just how life's changed. Um, saying that it's a theory actually means quite a bit in the scientific sense of the word theory. And also this idea that we somehow evolved from apes, which evolved from simpler organisms, how that idea is false. Now we have evolution talks about how life has changed over time. As always, if you have questions, please um, see me or check out some of our other resources.